Right, we're going to go through the menu options of the Hick Micro Panther 2 with the new graphic user interface. So shortly I'll be bringing up the menu icons and functions that will appear on the left hand side of the menu. So as you can see on the left hand side you've got general settings and we're first going to go and have a look at the zoom mode. So you've got multiple and continuous zoom options so basically continuous will go in small increments gradually through the zoom range while multiple will double the magnification as you can see here on continuous on the top left corner you can see it gradually increasing depending on the speed of your clicks in small stages throughout the zoom range whilst in multiple mode as you can see selected it will jump by doubling the magnification I would personally use this one because it's so much quicker um, and I don't really see the point of continuous next is the LRF function so you've got activate LRF once 5 seconds 30 seconds 60 seconds 120 seconds 300 seconds right through different options so basically when you select range finder it will activate for that period of time the other one that's just been missed is the hotspot for the Wi-Fi and you've got pre-record this is for your audio setting you've got hop spot tracking which i personally wouldn't use you've got your function settings and your general settings uh, they're all on the left hand side here you've got your on-screen display control so you can turn them on and off and you can remove the banner right at the top of the screen uh, if you disable these like this what will happen is the banner will go it'll give you more viewing area to view the screen fully so i don't want time and date on there and i normally just remove the full lot to be fair um, you've also got your calibration mode auto manual and external externally you would need to close the cap to do that uh, you've got on there that is your digital pixel repair <coughs> if you have any dead spots on the screen and you've got burn prevention as well but that's if you look at a hot object it prevents any damage to the unit uh, so what else is on here so you've got language date times yeah yard or meters uh, auto power off if you want the unit to turn off to save battery life over a period of time you can restore the settings i wouldn't select that option to be honest and you can see your actual menu sorry graphic user interface firmware version on that section there other settings you've got is your brightness for your image you can move up to one to ten on the scale and contrast you've got your picture and picture control which now shows a scaled reticle at the top of the screen You've got different colour hues for the screen, cold and warm. You've got a sharpness setting now added to the new graphic user interface on the software. You've got the usual recognition and jungle modes. This just gives you a different look of the image. You've got a lot of different zero on profiles. You've got different rifles to set this unit up on. The A, B, C, D, E, maybe F, I think. And each one of these you can select on zero and you've got different selections on each profile so you have a lot of options you can set your distance you can change your reticle choice on there uh, reticles having a look through so you've got a t standard cross another style of cross another t <coughs> graduated one which i use for holdover so it's skilled so i know where i'm shooting i think there is there's another couple of reticles on here as well um smaller one for this is ideal for rat shooting again similar if you want to shoot longer range another slightly graduated reticle a simple of simplified circular reticle and this is good this is a good reticle it's nice and clear it's out the way that would the graduated one that previous one i was mentioning or that one would be my choice so this is the zero and menu menu settings so you've got green different reticles color choices whatever you want for your reticle i'd just leave it in white and black on the thermal so when you zero and you can increase the magnification up gradually in stages to get more accurate shot placement and below that setting you've got your freeze frame so once you take your first shot um you can freeze the frame and then move it gradually to your second shot or however you choose to do that um so that's it really basically across the menu settings you can see it's a new graphic user interface style and the LRF is on the top right hand corner of the screen because this is a Panther LRF model.